We're going to move from mallets in the sky mallets in the sky. to superheroes underwater in the sequel to the 2018 film Aquaman. This new one is called Aquaman, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, uh, a superhero film based on the character Aquaman produced by DC Studios. Uh, this is... <laughs> Say it with me, Charles. The 15th and final installment of the DC Extended Universe, directed by James Wan, who did Saw movies, uh, from a screenplay by David yeah. Leslie Johnson McGold McGoldrick. Uh, you know, so this film, of course, stars or brings back Jason Momoa alongside Patrick Wilson, Amber Heard, Yaya Abdul Mateen, Randall Park, Dolph Lundgren. Tamura Morrison, Martin Short, and Nicole Kidman. Hi, baby boy. Talking to the fishies? You and me, son, we're different. We're special. We're connected to the land and the sea. I can't wait to introduce you to all the majestic creatures on our planet and show you how awesome this world can be. Yeah, you and me. I'm gonna kill Aquaman. Even if I have to make a deal with the devil to do it. Free me from my prison and all my power will be yours. Hmm. Now, before we even start with uh, this film, man, you know that there had been a lot of bad press about this movie. <laughs> the last couple of months, we've been hearing stories about Momoa was drunk on set, him and her didn't get along. <laughs> like, all this drama. So I went into this movie, Charles, with the bar on the floor. Like, yeah. I was, like, not yeah. expecting anything. Yeah. I knew that James Gunn is going to be wrapping all of this stuff up. So, to me, it was almost like we were playing with house money. Like, nothing in this movie is going to matter. It's, it's just, not going to move anything nope. along. Nope. Um, you know, it, it, so so having said all that, <laughs> I will start with Aquaman. Um, the story is a story, man. You know, um, from the, from the outset, it feels like this is kind of more of a standalone film, Charles, than even oh, the definitely. first one was. Oh, um, and you got now Aquaman, who is king of Atlantis, and much like another character in another universe, Thor, where he's king and he's bored and he's kind of hanging out. He's now got his wife and his kid, and he's trying to be, he's trying to to balance life as the king of Atlantis as well as being a pop a father of a small kid. Um, you know, we find out early in the film that there's another threat uh, from a character uh, who, I guess, Aquaman murdered his father right. in an early iteration. Right. Was it film one? or Film one. Film one. And now this character wants revenge, and he is... <laughs> and he is... I mean, uh, he killed uh, my daddy, yeah. He, he, killed, he killed my daddy, but I'm laughing because this is going to be a recurring theme in this review of how we borrow stuff from other movies. I was getting ready to say, because you compared <laughs> Aquaman like, already to Thor. So there's going to so, so this is gonna keep on going. So this character who sort of reminds me that he went to Sauron in uh, Lord of the Rings in order to get some dark power and dark magic. So I, let me just, let's cut to the chase, man. They, this movie to me was like a drinking game, right? Like, if you spot the movie <laughs> reference, take a drink. So I'm sitting there at one point, and there's a there's a part of the movie, Charles, you know what I'm talking about, when a trident breaks, and they, and they, you, they even use the same narration, like, you know, back in back the day, in the day. Uh, he went to fight, and his trident got broke. I was like, oh, oh that's Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and then there's a scene where it was Star Wars, where they were fighting with the trident. I was like, okay. Oh, there's a couple Star Wars there's scenes. a couple Star Wars scenes. And then we got a Black Panther reference. We got a, uh, we got, we got an Iron Man reference. We got, we got, we got so many different references. I was sitting there going, hey. James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> right. So then, so pretty much it was the last film. You ask a horror master to make a superhero film, and he made a scary superhero film, but not in a good way. No. Now it is entertaining, it is fluffy, it it moves nothing. And and to prove how irrelevant this thing is, stay for the end scene. The end scene <laughs> was ridiculous. 
So if I had to give this a grade, and I went to sleep on it last night, and I woke up, I'm still in the same place. I thought you were going to say you slept in the movie. No. Well, I I took a little nap. But C minus for Aquaman in the Lost Jungle. I lost King. That's good. C minus. That was a good grade. There you go. C minus. You know, I call it the Greenpeace commercial because there's a whole theme (laughs) that goes through there about saving the world and the environmental stuff. Uh, yeah, there it's it's very very derivative. Damn, I, Charles, that's I, all you got. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't know. I thought we were moving on. You know, we got time concerns. I didn't know. I don't, a couple of minutes, man. You, you know, can talk about it, man. I, the the worst part for me was um, they forced us to watch this in 3D, and they and there was nothing in in the film that's 3D worthy. Absolutely nothing. So I'm sitting there with dilated eyes on, on top of that, <laughs> and this is this is what I'm getting. So, I, you know, I think you're much more forgiving of this film than I am, and um, I, I would have, I think, a D-plus for me at best for this film. Because, again, I, I want something. The original Aquaman made $1.1 billion worldwide. People love this film. It was one of the best ones, that, according to uh, so many people of the DCEU. And this one is a far, 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 far cry from its from its predecessor. I am, I was, you know... Do you want more, 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 more far in it? <laughs> Far, 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 far cry. And so, I mean, and you're actually right. I'm sitting there and I'm I'm watching this, and yeah, it's scary. I'm like, where do all these creatures come from? I know there's a whole world underneath the ocean that we haven't discovered, but really, really, there's that much out there. I would just say that I prefer the underworld was, and Black Panther, Wakanda forever. It was the you know, underworld like, in this movie. It's like Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh yeah, and yeah. and. and uh, uh, there's literally a job of the hut in the film. Oh I'm like, what's go- what is going on? Like, guess here? what? You keep that, keep that energy right there, because the next movie we're gonna be doing the same thing. But go ahead. So yeah. Uh, so so yeah. what are you learning so far? Seventeen minutes into the show, we've run out of ideas in Hollywood. They're spending millions of dollars to tell us stories we've already seen, and. It's humorous to us as film critics because we can spot all the references Everything. that Max is missing. Max is like sitting there going, hey, I'm just entertained. I just bought my popcorn. I'm sitting there going, that's Star Wars. That's, <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot the Matrix. The Matrix. They had the Matrix in it too. They had the Lost City. Oh, uh, yeah. They had, I, I mean, it, there, it had nothing, to be at least 20 nothing films that you saw in there and that were some from somewhere else. It was like a cinematic tapestry. It was like nothing, nothing original in there. All right, so you gave it a D. I gave it a D plus, and I gave it a C a minus. C minus, and because I told you close. the bar was on the floor, right? So right. there you go. So-